The 2nd of February 2019, Art Categories Announcement, Art News, Art Takes Art, Exhibitions February 2019, Paul Carey Kent, the noted art writer and curator Paul Carey Kent gives us his rolling 10 recommended contemporary art shows for London Art Exhibitions February 2019. Paul currently freelances for Art Monthly, Freeze, Elephant, State, Photo Monitor, Border Crossings and World of Interiors, and has a weekly online column at Fad Art News. Tom Wesselman at Allmine Rec to the 23rd of March You wouldn't instantly link him to abstraction, but that's how Wesselman started out and he returned to it, inspired by offcuts from his figurative steel drawings, in his last decade. Allmine Rec sets out the story superbly with parallel streams of nudes and abstracts. Here's 3 Step 2, 2003. Linder, ever standing apart from everything at Modern Art, Helmut wrote to the 16th of March Linder has a wide-ranging practice, but I can't remember when I last saw a comprehensive overview of what she's best known for, collage. Here, though, are more than 70 covering five years' work. They include her characteristic combinations of apparently free women, in the landscape, or in sexual activity, undermined by the imposition of household duties, but also all-male combinations and a new strand of super-automatism, as above, in which chance presses of paint perform the role of obscuring image of nudes and a creeping censorship which might be ominous were it not so exuberant. Hannah Luxton and Julie F. Hill, of Stars this combination of Hannah Luxton's cosmically minimal paintings, Star Stream, 2019 above, with Julia Hill's entrancing 40-minute film of deep space and cascading sculptures of stars in a river of time will also do the job. Peter Matthews, The End is Where They Start From at Beers London to the 23rd of February Fans of process-driven abstraction would do well to visit Sadie Coles for Ryan Sullivan's jazzy improvisations and catch Peter Matthews and Rebecca Meanley at the Concept Space in Bermondsey, as well as Beers' solo presentation of Matthews, his is the ultimate seaside studio, as the chance and weather-affected results of the two halves of his hybrid paintings come out of time living in a tent beside the Pacific and Atlantic coasts, here, check, 2018 Mexico and Cornwall. Grace Weir, time tries all things at the Institute of Physics, King's Cross to the 29th of March Are you a bit hazy on how physicists thinking about time? Unsure what the alternative is to the block theory of the universe? You will be educated as well as entertained by Grace Weir's 30-minute film in an impressive new space. Two leading scientists explain while she builds many cunning parallels about what they say into a two-screen installation. The editing styles capture time variously and, for example, we see her photographing the classic way to freeze time, a World War I memorial stone plaque declaring that time tries the truth of things, it's remaking by a sculptor, the new version itself, and footage of the bird species which features on it. Sherwood's Solo Presentations 2019, Apau J.N.R. Boki Yudim, Kitty Clark, Sophia Mitzola at the Jerwad Space to the 10th of March in the Jerwad's new three-person presentation Two Rooms Appeal to Me. Apau J.N.R. Boki Yudim brings together drums, vegetation, and Russ Meyer to set up a performative space without, until you arrive, people and Kitty Clark has an equally effective immersive space, setting evocative snatches of dialogue into a version of fairground ghost house architecture, installation shot above. Fausto Milotti, counterpoint at historic collection to the 7th of April Not only is Fausto Milotti's Hanging Garden, 1970 serenely attractive, there's no weeding or watering required. From the historics demonstration that the Italian, 1901 to 1986, is more varied than previous UK showings have suggested. Milotti's dictum, zero is infinity in reverse, could be relevant. Moreover, other displays of Bajoni, Marini, and Mirandi are well worth seeing. Amy Siegel, backstory to the 16th of February at Thomas Dane Gallery, the presence or absence of Bridget Bardot in Contempt, lies at the core of Amy Siegel's dizzying combination of text and film works playing off Godard's 1963 film and Alberto Moravia's novel, A Ghost at Noon, 1954, on which it is itself based. Quite possibly the cleverest show currently on view, as I explain more fully in the February issue of Art Monthly. Martin Cree, Toasted Hausa
Work number 2919 tree of our 2018 is the most visually minimal in a packed show of difficult thoughts, which proved disarmingly simple. It seemed a touching metaphor of creative growth until I started reading it as fart. Marketa Luskachova at Tate Britain to the 12th of March Among the widespread moves to enhance the visibility of neglected female artists, Marketor Luskachova, born 1944, has a notably strong case, so it's great to see that Tate Britain have dedicated a room to both her East European and, after she left Prague in 1975, British photographs. This, from the series, Seaside, Northeast England, is typical, a grittily surreal monochrome which works in the detail as well as in the overall compositional, documentary and emotional aspects. Images courtesy, copyright, the relevant artists and galleries read more visit-related posts.